My name is Pauline O'Kelly. I'm a midwife in Scotia Clinic. Today I'm going to talk to you about pain relief in labour. There are several ways to cope with pain in labour. Natural methods, breathing techniques, walking, listening to music, taking a warm bath, sitting on the gym ball, um, and hypnobirthing. These are all the natural methods to help you cope with pain in labour. The TENS machine is a battery operated device. You can hire it from Tralee Physiotherapy, Oak Park Road in Tralee. It is used in early labour and you use it at home. So this is the TENS machine that you can rent out. Um, just, just a little look at it, it's a held, handheld device with these um, pads which you apply onto your back. Your physiotherapist will give you a full demonstration on how to use your TENS machine. A lot, some patients find it very, very beneficial in early labour. The key to using the TENS machine is to use it, to start using it straight away the minute you get your first labour pain at home. Some women have used it throughout their whole labour as everybody's got a different pain threshold. It works well for some women. Some people find labour pains more difficult than others, so they prefer to use maybe some medication to help them cope with the pain. So the first one I'm going to explain to you is um, Entinox, which is gas and air. And Entinox is a mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen. And Entinox is administered through a mouthpiece. Here, as you can see, I have a little demo here. So um, you take a big deep breath in through the mouthpiece and blow it back in through the mouthpiece again. This will give instant relief of pain and it can, it's very effective throughout labour and also very effective in the second stage of labour as well. Some patients complain that it can make them a little bit nauseated or make their mouth feel dry or sometimes they might feel spaced out having used a lot of Entinox. Some patients use Entinox through labour and it's very useful at the second stage of um, labour as well. There are no risks to the baby while using Entinox. The next form of pain relief I'm going to talk about is pethidine. Pethidine is um, an intramuscular injection given into the muscle in your buttock. Um, pethidine takes about 30 minutes to act and it'll last for maybe two to four hours. Pethidine, um, it'll take the pain away, not completely, but say maybe give you moderate relief, pain relief. Some side effects of pethidine are nausea. So if you suffer from, if you have nausea, we usually give you an anti-emetic injection to contract the nausea after getting the pethidine. A drought, some pa patients complain of feeling their mouth is very dry. Also, pethidine can um, make the baby a little bit sleepy. The baby may have difficulty taking its first feed as it may be drowsy after mom having pethidine. The next form of pain relief I'm going to talk about is an epidural. An epidural is the most effective form of pain relief in labour. Local anaesthetic and a painkiller are given through a very fine tube and this tube is inserted into your lower back. The procedure is performed by an anaesthetist. A consent form has to, be has to be signed first. The patient has to sit up very still in the sitting position for five to 10 minutes when the very fine tube is being inserted into your lower back. The epidural, what it does is it numbs the nerves and eases the pain. It is usually very effective. When you have an epidural, you have to remain in bed during your labor. You will feel a nice warm sensation in your legs. You can move around in the bed, turn on your right side your, or your left side. Coming to the um, second stage of labour, you will feel the urge to push. An epidural may not be recommended very early in labour or very late in labour. The epidural takes 20 minutes to work and it usually works quite well for most women throughout their labour. If you have to have an emergency caesarean section, your epidural is topped up then prior to going to theatre. Post the insertion of an epidural, it can be difficult to pass urine while in labour. So a very fine tube called a catheter is inserted into the bladder to keep the bladder empty during labour. Some women may experience a drop in their blood pressure 
If this happens, the IV fluids are increased. Baby's heartbeat is monitored very carefully throughout your labour. The second stage of labour may take a little bit longer and some women may end up with an assisted birth using a forceps or a vacuum to deliver their baby. 1% of women may experience bad headaches post an epidural and this is dealt with afterwards on the ward by an anaesthetist. For further information on pain relief, please look up labourpain.com. You can also contact us at Scotia Clinic if you have any queries. Thank you.